Hello fellow Star Wars collectors, this is Darth Rock One, back for a little something different today. I just wanted to do a video, um, I'll put an image up to, I recently received a fan mail from a New Zealand subscriber of mine, thank you again Greg French, um, his comment says a lot so I'll pop this up here. So basically where I live over in New Zealand, collecting is quite hard, um, there's not much that really comes out, um, everything's delayed, everything's a bit slow, so I want to do a quick video just to give everyone, especially New Zealand, and anyone else around the world, what it's like in New Zealand, and that I'm pretty lucky to have what I have in my collection, let's show some images here as well, so everything, of, everything I'm going to go through is release dates and what's coming out um, from our EB Games, which I think is GameStop as well, around the world. And also, a Pop Stop is another place who get a lot. Check these two guys out. Pop Stop, for those that don't know it in New Zealand, especially. Pop Stop specialise in a massive range of pops. They get everything. Um, they also have the Black Series range, the Force Effects range. Uh, they got Mace Windows here, which is beautiful. Um, and also Lounge Flight as well. There is this large scale layer which I'd actually like to get my hands on and protect it and it will never come out of its box. So I'm going to keep my eye on that. So I'm going to go through a bunch here. These are all release dates from EB Games, New Zealand, and this is what we've got hopefully coming. Um, for example, the Game Great, which I ordered, pre-ordered, were meant to come out in this month. March, they've been delayed till next month now, April, so hopefully that all comes in and it goes, not on an actual date, just a month. So, first of all, the Imperial Probe Droid, which is the next deluxe we're going to get, that is due for a May release. So we've got a couple of months to get ready and save. All of this is pre-orderable, all the images are from their website, so jump on it and check it out guys. Probe Droid in May. Next, and I am about to pre-order these myself because I missed out in the last range, and I'm gutted, very gutted. So, the next wave of the retro for the Empire Strikes Back is due to come out also in May, which we have Boba Fett, Yoda, Hoff Leia, Hoff Han, Luke Bespin, and Lando Bespin as well. And Pop, um, sorry, EB Games also have the Death Star Escape game from the original wave with the Tarkin figure, and that is still available through the website and in some stores. So grab a hold of that. Still got one put away, well protected myself. Next is, so that was May for those, if I didn't mention it. Next is a April release for the gaming greats. Like I mentioned before, they were delayed, which is the Jedi Revan and the droid as well. The um, battle droid from Battlefront 2. Not battle droid, sorry. Heavy battle droid. So that is an April delayed release. Hopefully these, as I've mentioned in one of my other videos, the coronavirus has delayed and slowed things down. So hopefully they're still going to make it. Um, and also, Farmers is another good place. That is where I found the Carbonized stuff when they came out last year. So keep an eye on Farmers as well. Um, they hopefully will let me know when new stuff appears as well. And there is a New Zealand collector that also goes there. I forget your name, but if you know who you are and you are on my channel, please let me know down below. So next is The Child. So the child has a lot coming out. In May, we're showing the pop range is to come out and the lounge fly as well. The Black Sarah's child has a June release and that is orderable, uh, pre-orderable through EV Games as well at the moment. Uh, next on my list is the, the ribbon. Uh, Darth Revan Force Effects lightsaber, or is it Jedi Revan? I forget. 
very 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 nice the price isn't but the item is so this has a may release and it is even retail sit down please of $599 that was me pretending to hit the floor and if I had that to throw at it man I'd love that because this thing is a beauty right on to the next actually I'll throw this in and the last one was the 40th so the Hyper Reel which EB Games currently have the Darth Vader at the moment and have the Bespin Luke Hyper Reel which actually looks quite nice for a May 1st release um, and I forgot the price so available for pre-order um, and the Vader is, is already available and I actually think off my head they're only 200 which I don't think is too bad the Retro Wave which I've already mentioned I know already they are a $16 value and that is bloody cheap so I'm going to get all of those and get them into protective cases as well Bosk's Bounty just did a video on protective cases so go check that out if you are interested uh, it's something I definitely want to get for this retro range because I'm going to keep them nicely put away protected in the toy room so finally and these I don't know if I want to open them or not when I get them some of them maybe so the Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary as we're aware of we have the Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary Black Series range coming out and I'm looking forward to this lot again I missed that and everything in A New Hope because I wasn't into it yet started last year it's been a year and I've got what I can in that time I did get the Darth Vader one with the stand so and it's brilliant Vader too so these have a May release date and we have the Luke Bespin Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary right there we have the Han Solo Bespin which looks like it's the same Han from the Exegorth Escape which I did get my hands on through Vagabond Games in Auckland, New Zealand thank you guys, that was awesome to find that in your store I always check your website for anything else like that the also is a Hoth layer now, this is going to be a good one um, I've only got one layer so far and it's the original and it's not a very good face no turn on it all there so also have the 8080 driver now I have this in the boxed one can't remember the number I'll show it here I have this in the numbered standard black series box um, got them really cheap over here when it, the warehouse had a massive sale picked up a bunch of stuff myself wish I got more so cool but it's the card backs to me it's the, the items on the card backs the vintage cards backs just look fantastic so the last one is the Dagobah Yoda. Now this one here, I personally wouldn't mind getting two. Mainly because the archive range that came out, which was a great range for people like me that got into this quite late. We didn't get the second wave here, only the first wave, which was the Bounty Hunters basically. So I got my hands on those, never saw the next wave, so gutted. We had Anakin as well and Yoda. So I never got it. I wanted it. So I might try and score myself two of those to open one and leave the rest of them carded and protected. So, right, so this just cover the vintage stuff coming at to again through EB Games, all on their website. So, still available is the Luke Skywalker X Wing. They do still have that in store and I think online. So, check that out and still available and the only vintage i own which could change with what's coming out soon but still available is the jabba's palace which you can see i still have i need to reset it up and let the old jar out of the packet as well so jabba's palace and luke skywalker's x-wing still available right coming out in march is the troop transport and this thing looks like a beauty it's been coming out overseas um, my man boss bounty again he's just reviewed one and it is a very nice looking unit 
be good if it came with a couple of figures, to be honest, because you'd, you'd want so many to fill it, but apart from that, no, I really like the look of this thing. It looks fantastic. And finally, May, Boba Fett's Slave 1. That comes out. Really, really cool looking ship, this one. The detail looks just amazing. Everything about it, by the look of it, it comes with the carbon block. Uh, not a Boba Fett, so we should hopefully see him coming out again soon, I'd say, with the Empire range. So yeah, vintage stuff coming out um, in New Zealand. The Troop Transport and the Boba Fett Slave 1. Not much else I can say, but there's some really, really good stuff about to come out, and I would like to get as much as I can. Some of the vintage, I'll, Boba Fett Slave 1, I feel like I'll probably want to, I'll probably end up getting. And I wouldn't mind the transport, as I said, I just need to try and get a whole heap of figures, but as it is. As you've heard, it's hard over here, so I will leave it there. There was no, no need to go on too much longer, it's been long enough. So all the vintage and the black series, everything you need to know. So if you are new and you've never been here before... Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. And thanks everyone else who continues to support my channel, uh, my Instagram as well. Uh, like, comment and subscribe. And until the next one, my friends, go into the dark side. May the force be with you. And happy collecting from here in New Zealand. See you later.